Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to this video Today we'll be looking at group discussion So this video will include What you need to know about group discussion The definition of it The steps to conduct a group discussion And then a sample of a group discussion question That might come out And then uh, we have uh, what you need to avoid When you do a group discussion So without further ado Let's look at the video Right, what is a group discussion? You need to be able to understand the concept of group discussion before you uh, do it right so a group discussion is a communicative process you need to talk with each other that involves the exchange of ideas between the participant where this is where you with other few people two or more will uh, get a topic you will discuss on that particular topic and each one of you will get one part of the topic which is part of the main um, uh, main idea so you with your parts will discuss on the topic where everyone will provide their own opinions facts and you will reach your own conclusions and you can also agree and disagree within the members there's no problem because this is a discussion but bear in mind it's not a debate or something you are discussing civilized you are having a civilized discussion so no uh, bad mouthing the other person so the main aim of a group discussion is to delve deeper into a topic where it can be defined variously according to the people involved. So you have four people there. Each one might have uh, might have their own opinions and they have their own definitions on the topic. So everyone will provide different perspective on the discussion. So that is a very good way for us to share between one another. And at the end, reach one collective decision that everyone in the discussion can agree with means that at the end you will uh, agree that there is one uh, one main idea that will fit everyone's uh, opinion at the end means that you agree okay that is the best one for this topic so you will come out at the end right so if you have you understand the concept of the group discussion then we look at the steps to conduct a group discussion so this is a very important thing to you for you to know because uh, in order to have a good group discussion you have to be able to uh, manage it well facilitate the discussion make the discussion move forward rather than becoming a snooze fest snooze fest is where everyone is just keep quiet and then people the other people will sleep okay so how do you start a group discussion you start with a strong introduction to the discussion what does it mean by a strong discussion uh, introduction you start the discussion with uh, something that let everyone knows what is the discussion about. First things first, you greet the participant. Lah. Okay? You greet everyone that is involved in the discussion. For example, candidate A, Ali, Abu, Ahmad and Aini. For example, those four people. So, you, maybe Ali, you greet the others. You as the leader or maybe the, the one who will, who, you decide you want to start. You start with the introduction. You greet the everyone. So hello to everyone, uh, and then you introduce the topic of this discussion because you you are gathering there for a particular purpose. You are having a group discussion on what. So everyone need to know what is the topic. So you introduce the topic of the discussion. Okay, even though you have the questions, the question tell you about the topic. You need to introduce it to everyone. Okay. Because they might have, uh, there are, might people, other people might miss that. The other people who are watching you doesn't know what you are discussing. So, introduce the topic of the discussion. And then, if you don't want to start discussion, you provide the chance for others to start the discussion. Okay? What about you? Do you want to begin? Anyone wants to start? Uh, that is providing opinion. But, if there's no one who wants to start, Please volunteer yourself. Don't make it the discussion start very badly without anyone wanting to start. That is That will become a bad thing and no one wants to be a part of a, a bad group discussion. Okay? So some of the sample here. Uh, what you can start, how do you start uh, uh, with the uh, group discussion? You can start with, uh, hello and good morning everyone. Today we'll be discussing on the topic. So you put the topic there. What is the topic? For example, 
uh, I think today we'll be discussing on the topic of uh, buying gifts is better than uh, just giving money. Okay, or no, or maybe uh, what is the best gift to give for your uh, loved ones? Okay, there is a topic. So today we'll be discussing on the topic of the best gifts for our loved ones. So then you want to provide the chance. Please, if anyone would like to start, go ahead. Or if not, I will start. For example, ah, uh, so that is when you give the chance, or you yourself want to start with the discussion. Then B, sample B is where you you are volunteering yourself to start. So I would like to begin. In my opinion, I believe that ah, uh, something like that. You are jumping into the discussion. You are starting off. Okay. Right. So this one. Your introduction, it doesn't have to be too formal. It can be very uh, cut quite casual, depending on the topic that you are discussing. Okay, if you are talking about giving gifts or maybe uh, planning a holiday, that can be quite casual. But you are talking about a heavy topic, for example, like social issues, try to be a bit formal and uh, organized. Okay, depends on the topic that you get. Second one. Facilitate the discussion, meaning that you will manage discussion. It's not only the work of the leader, but everyone has to work together. You are a group. You need to make sure that everyone pulls their weight. So, because if you have one slacking off, it will cost you dearly. Okay. So, facilitate the discussion. You push towards new idea if uh, new ideas if necessary. You um, you see that your fellow candidate cannot uh, cannot continue. Maybe try pushing towards a new thing. Maybe push, push towards another candidate. Maybe they are ready. You see the other candidate is ready to present the ideas, very uh, excited. Then you push again, and then the one who is presenting now uh, maybe are struggling. Push towards the one who wants to speak. So maybe I think that yeah, maybe what about the others? Uh, for example. Because you are trying to move the uh, discussion forward, the main idea is that you have a conclusion at the end. So, from the introduction, you need to move forward the discussion, and not stalling, meaning that there will there won't be any empty gaps or spaces that might fill with cricket sounds. Okay. So make sure the discussion is moving forward and not st- uh, stalling. How do you move that? You push towards new ideas. Or, if you want, you can ask follow-up questions if you need clarification. Maybe you just want to them to repeat the ideas in a different way or make it clearer to you. Ask them. There is no, uh, that is not a bad thing to do. Okay, it is not wrong to ask questions. You might want to make it longer, but be careful. You are given a limited time to present or to do the group discussion. So make sure if you think that you don't have enough, uh, you 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 still need more time, then ask for clarification, or do anything that can make the discussion go a bit more longer. Okay. So some of the samples, uh, if you want to push uh, the ideas into new uh, new idea, I do think that your opinion is good, but does anyone else, anyone else, would like to contribute? Ah, uh-huh. you are moving toward. Another idea. Okay, you asking them to give more, more new one, new ones. Ah, uh, so you are moving towards a new idea or point. And then you want to let the continue uh, the discussion continue. What about you, candidate A? You directly ask the person. You wants to make sure that there is no gap between the opinions or the speaking between the each other. So you just directly move towards the candidate. Or maybe, uh, what about you, Ali? What about you, Ahmad? What is your opinion on this topic? Uh, you are making sure that it doesn't stop uh, after this. Uh, after the person uh, finish, it doesn't directly stop, and you have a gap. You move directly to another person. And then, last one. I am sorry, but can I add something? I would like to ask for more clarification on the ideas. You want them to talk more? Maybe they have been talking a bit little, as uh, quite uh, little. It doesn't have a lot of elaboration, uh, so you want to ask them for more. Then it's not bad. You are trying to help them to be part of the discussion more. Okay. And then the last part of the the last step is to 
wrap up the discussion so you have a start you have the between and then you have the end so you need to review the discussion and how it had it had progressed for example you uh, you have uh, mentioned that uh, this candidate and mentioned this candidate there everyone has mentioned it show that there is that is the end of the discussion okay show that it is you want to finish up and then you will collectively collectively agree on one best uh, decision okay Be but before that you summarize all the points mentioned in the discussion whatever your friends have mentioned in the discussion you try to summarize it for example like in the sample below we'll, we'll, we'll move towards that and then like I mentioned you will pick one best solution or idea and conclude the discussion concluding mean that after you finish this is the best idea let's uh, let's make sure that everyone can do that and then let's uh, let us move toward uh, let us finish the group discussion thank you ha. and it's good for you to give your thanks at the end uh, those kinds of things okay right sample so I think this is the end of the discussion or maybe uh, I think we are nearing the end uh, everyone is has provided the opinion so you want to show that everyone has contributed but they, uh, this is the end of the discussion right. so you want to show them and you want to show the everyone else and then candidate A, uh, A has mentioned about idea A candidate B has forwarded his or her opinion C has mentioned about this and D has uh, mentioned that they agree with the others right. so you are summarizing back what they have Member, uh, each member has said and then you conclude at the end I think without a shadow of doubt that whichever idea that you selected is the best solution or idea for this topic can we agree on that everyone else can nod and yes and everyone ever agree okay? and then if possible if not possible you must include some sort of short reasoning some brief reasoning why you selected that idea okay because you have to discuss with everyone and mention about that uh, mention about why do you select it maybe because it is easier to do and it's feasible for everyone to do it uh, that it can be the best way right let's look at the sample question that might come for your group discussion assessment right for this one this is the basic instruction that you will get you will give uh, you will give the they will give you the questions this is the instruction we give study the stimulus read the instruction first okay please make sure you understand the instruction well because if you don't understand the instruction you don't know what you will be doing okay so you need to study the stimulus or the topic given whatever topic you give understand it well then you are given two minutes to prepare you need to prepare your points you need to prepare your ideas your opinions within those two minutes okay and then three after you have listened to everyone, try to come up to a decision as to which of the four suggestions is the best. Everyone will give you one suggestion based on the topic. Pick which one is the best. You come up to conclusion. And then your group is given 8 minutes for the discussion. Meaning that everyone needs to give their opinions, the facts and the conclusion, everything, introduction, middle and the conclusion all within 8 minutes. So you need to manage the time well. You won't be given any indication unless it is nearing the end of the discussion by the invigilator. So, you need to be careful on how much you say, how much everyone is saying, and how much is you, uh, how long is your group discussion. Okay? So, sample one. So, uh, this, are, uh, this is might possibly one of the questions that might come out. So for this situation, there are many television programs available these days that benefits uh, bring benefits to everyone. That is the situation. Understand that? They are talking about the the many available TV uh, television programs that is beneficial for everyone. So in your group, discuss which of the following is the most beneficial television program in your daily lives. So everyone, four of you, will have different uh points to talk about okay. so candidate a or ali will talk about traveling traveling uh traveling your programs are the most beneficial television program in our daily lives why do you say so 
that is what is your point for the group discussion. Candidate B will talk about cooking, candidate C will talk about health, and candidate D will talk about world news. So those four, at the end you will come up with one is which will be the best uh, the best program for the discussion. Okay. So by the end you select cooking. Cooking is the best uh, television uh, best television program for in our daily lives because of what? Uh, you give your reason. So the whole discussion revolves around these four things. Okay. So you will argue, agree, disagree, give opinions based on those four things. Okay. You can even take your uh, your friends' points. For example, candidate B can talk about traveling, health, and worth new as well. Even though he got the cooking points, that is not a problem. What will be a problem if you cannot talk about your points? Uh, that. So that that is where you need to be careful, but in all of it, try to be as uh, good as possible. Okay, for your discussion. Same with the second situation, you'll be talking about a particular situation and your tasks and what tasks everyone need to do. Okay, and then yeah, you will come up with one best solution or suggestion for the topic. Right, what to remember when conducting a group discussion? So, first things first, select a leader. Pick someone who is able to. Do you think you yourself think is able to conduct the discussion as good as possible? Someone who will be able to make sure the it, uh, the discussion moves forward, and who will be able to include everyone into the discussion. So the leader who will be the one who is responsible to introduce the topic, control and maintain discussion and allow everyone to take part uh, to take part in discussion and the discussion is moving forward. So that is a big responsibility. So try to pick someone who will be able to do that. Okay. And then the leader will also be the one who to summarize the points and in the discussion and concluding the session. You will be the one who starts, manage and finish okay so please select one who is you think that is very good in doing that because everyone will depend on the leader okay second one be prepared means that you need to be ready okay. you cannot uh, prepare early before the discussion because the question will be randomized but what do you mean by be prepared is even though you have two minutes to prepare Whenever you get the topic, whenever you get your part, list down as many ideas as possible. Filter it. Brainstorm every kind of idea that you know about the particular topic. And then filter it. Picking the best one for you to, the best one that you can elaborate on the discussion. And whatever you do, make sure the, the, the ideas are relevant to the part that was given to you. For example, when you are given to talk about cooking programs, just make sure you talk about the cooking programs. If you want to talk about the others, after your own part. Or if you are jumping in the discussion. Okay. Third one, use appropriate speaking strategies. Know how to jump into the discussion and how to interrupt. Like I mentioned in the previous uh, lectures, you can join into the discussion, meaning that if you can, you can agree with someone and then you provide, provide your reason why you agree, and you can interrupt someone when they are giving their ideas. It is not wrong, but need to do it properly. Okay. If you want, to, you want to agree. Just after the some the person has finished talking, then you jump in, agree. I agree with candidate or someone, and then you elaborate on the reason why you agree. And when you, you want to interrupt, see the person has finished, ask for the permission to interrupt. You cannot just jump in interrupting. Okay. You need to be uh, pa uh, pa polite. Do not be rude. So, and then when you are interrupting, apologize for when you are interrupting, and you thank the person to give you uh, who gave you a chance to interrupt. Okay. Uh, sorry for the interruption, and thank you for the opinion. For, uh, for uh, thank you for you to letting me talk. Uh, that is how you apologize and give thanks. Okay. While you are, while you want to interrupt. Fourth one, give everyone equal chance to speak. Okay, 
use appropriate turn taking strategies especially important for the leader you need to make sure that everyone have spoken need to be uh, need to speak by the end of 8 minutes everyone needs to speak the ideas okay because you don't want to let uh, anyone to monopolize the discussion and give you want to give chances for the other members to participate if you are the one who are, who is monopolizing then you are, will be the one problematic because everyone should be able to provide their opinions okay and then sometimes a speaker might give out cues uh, to show that they um they need help or something or maybe they want to uh, contribute or something so that is where the leader is important look for the cues maybe uh the person is struggling to uh continue on and you see the other person is uh, wanted to help then you ask the questions you can ask the questions for them ask the question make sure they, they continue the discussion maybe the other person is trailing off they might not have like uh they are they are not the voices are very slow and maybe they sh they show off that they cannot continue they are staring off then the leader has to make sure that they know and then they try to look at anyone else who can contribute uh, who can continue the discussion and then uh, those who give closing statements uh, that is a cue as well for the other persons to jump in and continue even though this is a big responsibility for the leader everyone else needs to be able to identify the cues as well so that they can jump in and uh, join the uh, discussion at any time so even though the leader is possible everyone has to be part of the discussion well okay and then the fifth one attentive listening okay you are just listen first listen to the discussion properly especially when the other members are speaking okay you don't you don't do your own stuff or anything because you are doing a group discussion you need to listen to the others listen to their opinions respect them okay maintain eye contact and good body posture meaning that you are sitting straight and nodding when someone is speaking you are not just like writing down anything and just putting your hand on the table and just doing like moody stuff or something no maintain eye contact body posture is very good listen listen and listen the 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 one who is speaking can ask you questions if you are you are not paying attention then you might be in trouble so listen to whenever anyone is speaking and that is it for the this group discussion it is very simple if you are able to understand the concept of group discussion so the, the main thing is that you need to select a good leader will be able to maintain the discussion and then you yourself need to know what you need uh, what is your role in the group discussion so that everyone will be able to contribute to the group discussion and make sure you have a successful one so thank you very much for listening to me my name is Sazwan, and we'll see you in the next one good luck